folks, Monday morning. I've uh, just dry hopped all of the beers in the tanks ready for racking later on this week. We do actually have a brewery tour going on on Saturday, so uh, I'm thinking I'm maybe going to leave the beers in the tanks until then. But I've spent most of this morning jigging around with this fitting. So we've got some pipes in, uh, some elbows and whatnot, and I want to put them all onto the new boil kit from last week, you know, following on from last week, installing the new drain valve and what have you. And yeah, there's just this one pipe all over the place, causing me a bit of a problem. So I'm uh, fast losing the day. So I thought I'd quickly grab the camera whilst this is back purging and set you up and we'll just grab a few shots of the weld and then once we've done that hopefully we'll be able to move on to the next phase which is pulling that kit out of the way all the brew kit out of the way giving it a deep clean and then I would like to put some paint on the floor ready for the weekend <laughs> chilling unit if you like it's all I guess it's can all be contained in one unit and uh, that's how I'm going to move it about now actually so I want to paint this floor area because it's been getting wet and uh, it's had acid and all that kind of stuff on it for a while now and the acid will actually eat the concrete so we need to get some uh, what's the word I'm looking for polyurethane floor paint down to kind of protect it. I think it's polyurethane. So in order to do that, I'm gonna move all of the brew kit. I'm gonna push it back, uh, scrub the floor, let it dry out over the next hour or two, and then before we go home tonight, whack it with a coat of paint, and hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be dry tomorrow. Doesn't matter if it's not. And then over the next couple of days, we'll pull all the kit back, I've got a few pieces of steel still to cut in order for me to have a fully draining uh, exit from the bottom of the boil kettle. I want it to go into the drain as opposed to over the floor. And again, that'll mean that any paint that we put on the floor lasts even longer. So it's just a case of getting the pallet truck out, moving this stuff. I've got to disconnect the uh, electric side of the boil kettle as well remove the elements and remove any monitoring such as the float level indicators, uh, the thermal well, that kind of stuff. Easily done, mainly on track clamps and RJTs. And then we'll pull it out of the way, get the paint down. Most of the kit is now out at the top of the building. We've got some big fans down here blowing the floor, trying to dry it. And then also I've cleared everything over here to paint this section. I didn't necessarily want to paint this area until we sorted this uneven floor out down here. But I'm probably not going to get around to that for quite some time. So let's just whack some paint down on top of it. At least it's going to look optically kind of finished 
So you can see that the floor's not too wet. A couple of patches where it's just got to dry out. It's already starting to dry over there in front of the fans. Just got to wait for this HLT to completely empty. And I'm going to pull it right up to the top of the building with the rest of the kit. I did notice that when I moved the boil kettle with the chimney on, it really is heavy on this side. So I'm either going to have to put some stabilizers on it or some ballast on the other side. So in the future, if I move it or if I take the elements out, it's not prone to tipping. It shouldn't move with the plate heat exchanger connected, but I could really do without that falling over. So yeah, another half an hour, maybe the floor will be dry and then we'll roll it and just go home. Right, I've actually started painting in this corner just down here. Uh, I'm not going to time lapse it because it's just going to take like forever as a time lapse. So what I'm going to do instead is just set up a pretty good shot, paint as much as I can, leave a walkway to come out and then uh, take a shot afterwards before we go. And then we'll have another one in the morning when it's dry. Hopefully these fans will dry it overnight as well. And just like that, the day is complete. Check it. So unfortunately I've left one light on down in the corner over there. I can't get to it. So that's going to have to stay on for the night. But it's only one LED um, strip light. Not the end of the world. So I'll just pop the camera in here actually before I close the bag. And uh, off home we go. Oh, we're home, folks. Jesus. Let me tell you something. Oh. So, um, today's vlog, I think, has been uh, quite difficult for me to focus on because there's a lot going on at the brewery now, um, which means I have a little bit less time to kind of devote to getting the camera rigged up uh, and filming everything. Drinking a Badco 0618 by the way, 7.4% double IPA, friggin rights. So yeah, having Jack on board is good, it means that I can do more things in a day. Um, he's been doing a lot of painting that I've wanted to do since way back when we first started the brewery build, believe it or not. So we're finally getting those those things knocked on the head but that also means that there is a extra workload on me in terms of making sure that he's always got something to do taking an, uh, an apprentice on if you like means that you do have to spend a little bit of time considering how their day is going to be filled as well as yours and normally I find it difficult enough for me to figure out what I'm going to be doing for the day to make sure it's productive so now I'm doing it for two if you like uh, it's a little bit of added pressure so by the time I've uh, got him up and running with whatever job I've set him on I find that I just want to get cracked on with mine so uh, I've not been very good today at picking the camera up I could have caught some really good shots and discussed uh, what I was doing with the TIG welding today for instance regarding uh, the pipe work that I made I had quite a bit of difficulty getting that pipe work to go into the right direction uh, quite a few compound cuts and of course uh, tacking it up, trying it for a fit. I uh, back and forth to the bench three or four times before I even got it close. Um, that would have made good content you know for today's vlog but unfortunately it's just been a case of uh, getting the job done, dragging stuff out and getting that floor painted so uh, we can get in there and work on it tomorrow. I'm hoping that um, Tomorrow I'll be able to reflect on this part of the vlog. I'm kind of doing this to uh, drill it into myself to make sure that tomorrow, uh, before we get into work, I've got a plan of what Jack's going to do for the day and a plan of what I want to achieve, realistically, can achieve. And then that means I'll be able to get the camera on the tripod and point in at the, uh, the project. Uh, to capture it, of course, for all you guys out here, out there, out here, out there. Yeah, out there. So, uh, 
I'm going to ref reflect on it and uh, pick it up again in the morning. Hopefully you'll join us for tomorrow's vlog. Uh, we could do with a big push on the subscribers actually to get us over that 10k barrier. We're getting pretty close but just seems to have stalled. Uh, so share the video folks if you know anybody who's into brewing or into welding or anything like this running a pub get it shared get it shared on your Facebook whatever else it'd be nice if we can hit 10k uh, before the summer comes along uh, but yeah we'll pick it up tomorrow and uh, hopefully have a fresh outlook on how we're gonna approach taking the shots for the vlog we'll see you then Cheers.